Fungi are among the most resilient life forms on Earth. They survive in the scalding heat of deserts, in the frozen wastes of the Arctic, and even inside nuclear reactors. They thrive where few others can, adapting to radical changes in temperature, moisture, and chemical conditions. What makes them truly extraordinary, however, is their ability to evolve rapidly, developing resistance to antifungal drugs and surviving chemical attacks that would kill most other microorganisms. Unlike viruses or bacteria, fungi are complex eukaryotic organisms, more closely related to animals than to plants. This complexity makes them formidable opponents. When humans deploy antifungal medications, fungi respond by mutating, altering their cell walls, hiding within biofilms, or switching into forms that are harder to detect and destroy. Candida auris, for example, is a recently emerged fungal pathogen that resists almost every known antifungal treatment, a silent killer spreading through hospitals worldwide. But fungi are not merely survivors. Some fungi have evolved the chilling ability to control other living creatures. The Ophia cordyceps genus, for instance, infects insects like ants, taking over their central nervous systems, compelling them to climb to high places before killing them and sprouting spores from their corpses to infect others. It is a real-life horror story, eerily similar to the infected in The Last of Us, where a mutated fungus turns humans into mindless carriers of infection. Although no known fungus can currently control humans in this way, the theoretical possibility haunts scientists. Fungi already live within us, on our skin, in our lungs, in our guts. In healthy individuals they are kept in balance, but if the balance is disturbed by a weakened immune system or environmental changes, fungi can spread aggressively, invading the bloodstream, the brain, and internal organs. Once inside, they can be extraordinarily difficult to eradicate. The resilience of fungi lies not just in their physical toughness, but in their network intelligence. Underground, vast fungal networks known as mycorrhizal webs connect trees and plants in what some scientists call the wood wide web. Through these connections, fungi can transport nutrients, warn other plants of danger, and even manipulate resource distribution, behaviors that suggest a primitive, decentralized form of intelligence. Fungi also have astonishing strategies for survival. When faced with threats, some fungi release clouds of microscopic spores that can remain dormant for decades, waiting for favorable conditions. Others alter their metabolic processes, shifting to dormant states, or even entering symbiotic relationships with other organisms to ride out environmental disasters. The idea that fungi could one day pose an existential threat to humanity is not pure fiction. Climate change is already forcing fungi to adapt to warmer temperatures, the same temperatures that make human bodies a natural host. Traditionally, our body heat provided a barrier against most fungal infections. But now, pathogenic fungi are evolving, learning to survive and thrive at 37 degrees, 98.6 degrees, breaking down one of the last natural defenses we possess. In this changing world, the fungal kingdom watches waits, and adapts. They are ancient survivors, having outlived mass extinctions that wiped out the dinosaurs and reshaped the Earth's surface. Compared to fungi, humanity is young, fragile, and disturbingly unaware of the silent threat growing in the dark corners of the world. While fungi have given us antibiotics like penicillin, yeast for bread and beer, and life-saving medicines, they also hold the keys to potential pandemics far more insidious than anything we have faced. If a fungus were to evolve the ability to efficiently infect humans through airborne spores and to manipulate hosts as it does with insects, the results could be catastrophic. The speculative horrors of The Last of Us are rooted in real biological possibilities. In the show, a mutated strain of cordyceps jumps to humans, leading to a global collapse. While such a jump is unlikely today, the mechanisms of infection, manipulation, and resilience shown in the series are frighteningly realistic when compared to what real fungi already do to their insect hosts. In truth, fungi are among the most dangerous organisms on the planet, not because they actively seek to harm us, but because of their incredible capacity to adapt, survive, and conquer when given the opportunity. They are patient invaders, waiting for the moment when environmental pressures, many of our own making, open the door.
As we continue to disrupt ecosystems, alter global temperatures, and weaken natural barriers, fungi will adapt, as they always have. Whether they remain our silent partners in life, or rise to become our deadliest adversaries, depends not on them, but on us. In the end, the greatest threat may not come from without, but from within. From ancient, unseen forces that have been watching, evolving, and surviving for longer than we can imagine. The true question is not whether fungi could rise against humanity, but whether we will recognize the danger in time. The battlefield between humans and fungi is not only one of health and survival, it is also a war of time and evolution. In our hubris, we often think of fungi as simple organisms, mushrooms sprouting after rain, molds growing on forgotten food. But beneath these visible signs lies a vast, ancient intelligence, operating on timescales far longer than our own. While a human life may span 70 or 80 years, fungal colonies can persist for centuries. The largest known organism on Earth is in fact, a fungus. Armillaria ostoii, the humongous fungus, sprawling invisibly beneath Oregon's forests, covering over 3.5 miles, and estimated to be more than 2,500 years old. This living entity is not just surviving, it is thriving, expanding slowly, patiently, unaffected by the brief flicker of human civilizations above it. This chilling patience is a hallmark of fungal life. While humanity races forward in technological bursts, fungi endure, biding their time, adapting incrementally but relentlessly. Their ability to evolve in response to environmental pressures is breathtaking. Already, species like Candida auris show that fungi can jump barriers once thought impenetrable, infecting patients across continents in hospital outbreaks that are hard to contain and harder to cure. Unlike bacteria, fungi do not rely on simple mechanisms of reproduction. They produce resilient spores capable of surviving extreme desiccation, radiation, and even chemical assault. These spores can be transported across oceans by wind currents, lying dormant for years before awakening in fertile environments. In a world increasingly reshaped by human hands, the opportunities for fungal expansion are growing. The prospect of a fungal pandemic is no longer science fiction. In 2019, the CDC issued warnings about Candida auris as a serious global health threat precisely because it combines drug resistance, persistence in the environment, and the ability to cause deadly systemic infections. It is a glimpse into a future where fungi could outpace our ability to respond, much like antibiotic-resistant bacteria have done. But while we focus on bacteria and viruses, fungi remain dangerously underestimated. Their complex life cycles, ability to mask themselves within human hosts, and deep evolutionary resilience make them uniquely suited to exploit weaknesses in our defenses. And as global warming accelerates, forcing fungi to adapt to warmer climates, the line between environmental fungi and human pathogens grows thinner each year. Nature has long shown us what fungi are capable of. The zombification of insects by cordyceps is not an act of malice, but a strategy of survival a way to complete the fungal life cycle by manipulating another being into furthering its reproduction. Could such an adaptation, given enough time and environmental pressure, one day bridge the gap to larger hosts? Scientists studying fungal neurotoxins and behavior-altering chemicals have discovered compounds that, in theory, could influence mammalian nervous systems. While no fungus today can control a human brain as The Last of Us imagines, the potential for fungi to interact with human neurology in unexpected ways remains a field of serious study. Some fungi already produce hallucinogenic substances that profoundly alter human perception, a chilling reminder that fungi can reach into the human mind, given the right conditions. Meanwhile, in remote caves, deep forests, and isolated corners of the world, new fungal species are constantly being discovered. Each unknown species represents a genetic library of possibilities, potential medicines, but also potential threats. In a sense, fungi embody nature's ultimate duality. They can heal or destroy, nourish or consume. They are neither good nor evil. They are survival itself, in its most relentless and impartial form. As humanity pushes deeper into untouched environments, disturbs ancient forests, and alters the climate, we are awakening ancient forces we barely understand. Fungi were here before us. They will be here after us.
whether we join with them as allies or fall to them as victims, remains to be seen. Perhaps the real lesson of fungi is humility. A recognition that intelligence, resilience, and power are not solely the domain of humans. Across the silent web of mycelium beneath our cities, in the invisible clouds of spores drifting through the air, and in the quiet, patient spread of unseen networks, a kingdom waits. And in the grand story of life on Earth, fungi are not the villains of a horror story. They are the survivors. We are the newcomers, still learning to listen to the ancient, whispered language of the spores.